What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2020 Tops Inception Baseball 16 box case break picker teams number one. Okay, Joe, do you want me to. Would that be the last video? I can do it for you after this video. All right, and it looks like, guys, we didn't. We didn't. Uh, I don't think we sold the Cardinals. I didn't see an order for that, so I'm assuming just because they may have only base cards. Here's everybody else. And last spot mojo is going to be uh, Joseph got the Mariners. All right, cool. I'll, I'll upload it after, Joe. I just wanted to make sure. I didn't know when you broke it, so I don't want to upload the wrong one already. But yeah, I'll upload it, man. Don't worry. All right, Roger. So I'll upload it for you then. <clears throat> I know, dude. What are you talking about play left out? Jeez. I mean, I, I know it may not look like I'm a starting quarterback anymore. I'm, I'm ki I kind of look like that quarterback that played for the Giants at one point. The hefty lefty, but damn. Jeez. I know he did, actually. He passed away. I think it was, uh, what was his name again? Uh, Lorenzo. There you go. I just played for my local high school, man. I didn't play in college. I mean... Community colleges wanted me to play there, but I didn't want to play football anymore. I was done with it. Oh, yeah, here you go. Rangers, it looks like. Marlins. My passion for football had left the field. I left it all in the field, and I became passionate in the hobby. <laughs> Become an analyst. Oh, nice. Yeah, I went to Mountain View High School. It's a small, not very popular football school, more of a soccer school where I went. Uh, but maybe you'll know Amani High School and other schools in my league. All right, we got Trout. Austin Nola. Arenado Acuna Jr. Sean Anderson to 220. I think we had the best record in our school school uh year and we were like six and five <laughs> but that was a big turnaround because like the year before we only won like one game no we were not D <laughs> we were like not d1 at all i don't even know what division we were again i i, we, I played football in the city i grew up in and i did not did not uh, go to a big time school although i went to all the camps i went to like the fresno state camp ucla usc the time I was actually at the USC camp, Matt Barkley was the biggest thing. Okay, Joe, yeah, I'll do that. So, yeah, guys, if St. Louis does pop out, yeah, we'll randomize any St. Louis cards that may pop out, base or numbered cards. Um, and I'll still do the randomizer just because I may not keep track of it. So, if there is any, guys, that doesn't mean that you're going to get them. It's just if there is, the customer that won the randomizer would get any of these hits. All right, there you go. And Garrett Hampson to 220. Did you play with Matt Liner? That's nice, Matt. Yeah, well, like I said, I went to the USC camp, and Matt Barkley was the biggest thing because we, like, we were separated from, like, freshmen, sophomores on this side, juniors and seniors on the other side. And when I was there, I went as a – going into sophomore year. And uh, I remember everybody was watching a 40 time and watching him practice, and then ended up being Matt Barkley because he was, like, a senior that year. And then one notice, notable player that I actually uh, was like a warm-up with uh, is in Fresno State. Ooh, printing plate again. Anthony K. 101. Uh, I don't know if you guys know uh, Tyler Bray. He ended up playing for Tennessee and, you know, was a backup, I think, for a while with the Kansas City Chiefs. He was my uh, warm-up partner at the Fresno State camp. He was a big, big prospect out of, out of Kingsburg in Fresno. And um, I remember he went to Tennessee because of Lane Kiffin. And when he got, when he left Tennessee to come to USC, he ended up staying in Tennessee, though. And Duplantier, out of 75. There you go. Arizona Diamondbacks, Arthur Peru. There you go, man. Yeah, well, it's because we were all, it was a quarterback camp, so... You know, we were just we were just paired together, so we're just warming up. It was fun though. 
I definitely enjoyed high school football for sure. Houston. Gavin Lux out of 99. Look at that. That looks cool. 89 out of 99. On card there for the Dodgers. Michael with that one. Yeah, that's the case right there, right? Yeah. Alright, guys. Next one. Alright, guys. Pick your team number one. After this, I gotta quickly go through orders to see who sold out Random teams number two, and we'll start that next. Shohei Otani to 99, and Jordan Alvarez. And then we'll see um, what else is after that. I think figure team number two may be next after that. Ooh, this is a nice one coming up after, guys. Jordan. Jordan. All right, get ready. Aquino, look at that. 101 out of 199, little pinstripe auto. Aaron, who got the Cincinnati Reds, there you go. Nice one right there. Nice one, guys. Pretty nice case so far, Joe Pizzo. Nice. Show me some fish. Okay. You want some fish? You will get some fish, Matthew. Jordan Yamamoto. 11 out of 75. You got three color patch in there. How about that, Matthew? You want some fish? You'll get fish. <laughs> Needed a Cunha auto. All right, I'll, I'll try, man. That's it's a little more tougher probably in Inception, but I'll, 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 uh, I'll accept the challenge. Amenteros to two, uh, 220. Houston Astros going to Aaron. Okay, you have Braves and Twins. Alright, it gives me a little bit more help when you have two teams. Good luck, man. Alright, guys. Uh, yeah, we're halfway through the case after this. We've got four more hits up, or eight more hits after this. You get, I know AJ got to get me that Slade jersey. I think he's, I think he's such a stud. Uh, he got paid, obviously on a shorter contract with three years rather than a full like six year contract. But fly, he was fly. you know he's he's a good shutdown corner. <laughs> Collins, Lindor, Correa, Alzole to fifty for the Cubs. EA with that one. I remember we talked about that. I think he was your, I think he was uh, one of your favorite, right? I know. Well, if I'm going to get one Eagles jersey this year, I'm going to get a Miles Sanders one. But I do have a Mariota jersey. I actually got one from Aaron a couple weeks ago. Salinas. So I have an auto, auto Mariota jersey that I bought from him. On the cheap, too. Really cheap. Compared to probably what he's probably going for now. <laughs> but... That's more to like frame in the future. But I don't know, man. I gotta get me that Mario the Raiders jersey. 
be a nice one to get right there. I know, it's going to happen. I know Joe doesn't probably want it to happen, but it's going to happen. <laughs> and a Jordan Alvarez. There you go. 49 out of 75. On card. Nice case. Jeremy, what's going on, man? Yeah, I can see the difference between this case and last case. Big rookies coming out in this one. Out of 50? No, and I know, Joe. I mean, I know probably we don't want it to happen because I, I still think, too, that Carr could be the one, you know, but I just think it's been a couple years already with Gruden, and I think that's why he probably brought in Mariota because if you look back at the tape, he loved Mariota out of the draft. So, hey, I'm just saying is that if he takes over and busts a, a Ryan Tannehill, you know, good for you guys and good for him. Kyle Lewis to 99. A little vertical patch auto, but... Hey, if, if it helps you win and make the playoffs, I think you'd be happy, right? Doesn't matter. Seattle Mariners with that one. Joseph, last ball mojo. There you go. Yeah, that's the one thing. It's like he hasn't been super convincing, which I get that. I would agree with that. But, man, he hasn't, like, he hasn't been a horrible quarterback, though. Like, you go look at his numbers. He's still, like, one of the best in the red zone. Like, only has, like, one turnover or two in his whole career. You know, if you look at his stats, he was not that horrible. I just think he lost a lot of confidence this year. And, you know, when he was playing really bad, so did the head coach. You know, we're, we're going to take you out. We're going to put Tannehill in. And, and again, it kind of just, Tannehill played much better, and you stick with the hot hand. And I really think that's what happened. Now, has he played outstanding? No, I don't think so either. But I don't think he's played that horrible. Like, if you go look at his stats, you know. It wasn't really more him than, than the team. I also think you have to adjust to him. He's just definitely one of those quarterbacks, kind of like Cam. You just got to adjust to his style. Sean Murphy. But see, that's the thing. You can throw 100 yards and still be good because guess what? You have Derrick Henry to back you up. That's the one thing, man. Tannehill and Mariota... Definitely the last two years benefited on on having uh, Derrick Henry. But again, Derek Carr, I'm sure, is going to do much better this year, especially with Mariota being the backup, and then Josh Jacobs, I'm sure, is going to do much better this year. So that's going to help out any quarterback that takes over for the Raiders regardless. You know, having that running back just makes such a big difference. Relieves a lot of stress. Off the quarterback. And Albert Alzole to 99. I just be a Bills fan, AJ. No, man. You gotta stay Lions fan. It's all gonna turn around. It may have it may have taken the Lions much longer than most teams, but it will all turn around. Nick Sensel. Ooh, nice patch. Nine out of seventy-five for the Cincinnati Reds. Aaron with that one as well. All right, guys. Three more. All right, guys, so after this, I'm going to go through orders really quick, and then um, we'll start rounding team number two. If that's sold out first. Out of 150, Shane Bieber, Ronald Acuna Jr. Yeah, I think you definitely got to get rid of Patricia, and I think you guys got to just get a whole new everything. Honestly, though, I think you guys just need a whole revamp, right? Mm -hmm. 
Yes, in the NFL, I meant yeah, I meant to say the longest, but I meant just in sports. There's there's been a lot of longer teams. Ramon Laureano to one ninety nine, little three color patch for the Oakland Athletics. Ricky with that one. Well, the thing is that when we say like the worst team longer is because the playoff wins, the playoff like you know appearances and you know division winnings. It's like Cardinals may have had worst numbers probably the last couple years, but you know Cardinals not too long ago were in the Super Bowl. I think the Browns are another team like that too. Definitely unlucky. Ever since they came back, uh, once they moved to Baltimore. Tim Couch being the quarterback there and vice versa. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what, I think that's the most hardest part about the Lions. You know, it's just like there hasn't been no division wins, no this, no that, in so long. Uh, Domingo, to 199 for the Arizona Diamondbacks going to Art to Peru. Well, that's a funny thing. The Browns are actually, like, has anybody seen that, you know, documentary on the NFL Network? You know, the 95 Browns or 96 Browns before they left? Like, they were good. You know, Ravens, the Browns technically would have won that Super Bowl, right? With Ray Lewis and them in the early 2000s because that was basically the Browns team. So they got short out of the Super Bowl. All right, guys, last box. Good luck. Kino, Kyle Lewis. All right, good luck. And we got Tony Gonsolin, or Gonsolin, sorry, to one or two forty-five. And there you go, guys. That was the break. Pick your team number one in the books. Just a little recap of the hits. So again, there you go. That was for the Giants, Dodgers, uh, D-backs. Loriano for the Athletics, Nick Sensel for the Cincinnati Reds, Alzole for the Cubs, Murphy for the Athletics again. And we got Kyle Lewis for the Mariners. That was last spot mojo as well for Joseph. Alzole to 50 for the Cubs. Amonteros for the Houston Astros. Yamamoto for the Marlins. Some numbered cards here. Gavin Lux to 99. That was the case hit right there. Uh, Duplantier, one of one, there for the Toronto Blue Jays, Hampson, and two of the biggest hits, of course, two of the bigger rookies in this class, out of 75, Jordan Alvarez, and Astudi uh, Astudius, or what is it, Artudis, Aquino, I'm just going to say Aquino, I think that's much easier, it's a 199, there you go for the Reds, appreciate it guys, Pikachu number two is very close guys, I'm sure we can knock that out soon, coming up next is Random Teams number two, jazbeescasebreaks.com.